to start off here, you'll want to register as a CEO and you will then want to request the BGA Excel from the CEO vehicles. Now, once you've got that, you just want to take it into the airport. Now, if you have the MOC or you have the Avenger or something like that, you can also use that for this part of the glitch if you guys have them. So I decided to use the CEO vehicle because it's the cheapest one that you can use for this glitch. But like I said, you can use those other vehicles that I just listed. But anyway, once you've got your vehicle in the airport, you will then want to take it over to the spot where I'm taking mine right now. And when you get over here, you just want to look closely at the road and you'll see this part where the road gets darker. So you can see right here, this part of the road is pretty light and then it goes very dark. This is what you're looking for right here. Now you'll see the white lines in the middle of the road as well. You just want to count the lines and park this vehicle on top of the sixth line. So this is line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, and then line six. Just park the vehicle on top of line number six and just park it right in the middle of that line. Now, once you have positioned your vehicle, you will just want to leave it here. And if you are using the CEO vehicle, like what I said at the beginning, you want to make sure you do not retire from the organization. You want to make sure you stay registered as a CEO the whole time you're doing this glitch. But anyway, what you want to do is go to a regular garage or an apartment garage. Just don't use any fancy garages like the arena or the nightclub or anything like that. Just go to a regular garage or an apartment garage. But anyway, you want to make sure you don't have any personal vehicles outside. Of course, you will still have your CEO vehicle or whatever you used for the first part. That is fine, but just make sure you don't have any other personal vehicles outside. If you have any other personal vehicles outside, all you have to do is just get into a car, drive it out of the garage, and then just go back in. From there, you should have no other personal vehicles out on the map. But anyway, once you've got everything set up, you will then want to get into your car and then you'll want to call Lester. Now, when you call Lester, as soon as he answers the phone, you want to very quickly go to locate a plane and select that and drive out at the same time. So you need to do that very quickly as soon as he answers the phone and you want to do it while he's in the middle of talking. Now, locate a plane is second from the bottom. So you just have to press up on the D-pad twice to get to it and you need to select it and drive out at the same time. So you have to press both buttons at the exact same time. So on PS4, you have to press X and R2 at the same time. On Xbox One, you have to press A and RT at the same time. Now, like I said, you need to make sure you do it very quickly as soon as he answers the phone and try to do it while he's in the middle of talking. Basically, just try to cut him off before he stops talking. So I'm just about to do it right here and I will show you guys my timing. Hey, what's up? So as you could hear, Lester said, hey, what's up? And then he was about to actually move on and say something else after that, but I actually cut him off and did the glitch before he got the chance to move on and say something else. You will want to try to do some timing like that and if you do it correctly, you should have no plane on your map. Now, like I said, you need to make sure you press both buttons at the exact same time to hit that correctly. Now, if you didn't get it and you do have a plane on your map, just go over and destroy the plane and then try again. But if you did get it and you have no plane on your map, you'll want to come over to this location right here. Now, this is right by the Los Santos Customs that is near the airport. And what you want to do is just go over here. You'll see this little path that you can drive over. You just want to drive around here and just go the exact same way that I'm going right now. So just look closely at where I'm going and make sure you follow this. Now, when you get over onto this beach right here, onto the sand, you will notice these red lights in the distance. 
you just want to head over there and then when you get over there there's a hill that you can go on top of just go straight on top of that and then from there you will want to go over to the fence that I'm going to right now and you just want to try to break through it now if you can't break through it with the vehicle you're using then just throw a grenade or a sticky bomb at it and blow the fence up and then try to drive through it now if it doesn't destroy the fence with the first explosion then you can try just throwing another grenade or sticky bomb at the fence but anyway once the fence is destroyed and you can drive through it you will then just want to go straight through it and go through this fence as well and now you just want to go the same way I'm going so go on the left runway and just keep to the right hand side of this runway and just keep going straight along this runway until you see this right turn that I'm about to take right here. When you see that, just take this right turn and head straight for this hangar. And when you get in here, you'll see a yellow line with some other yellow lines going through it, just like this right here on the floor. You want to just park your car directly on top of that spot with the crisscrossing yellow lines. Now just take a close look at the floor when you are pulling up to the hangar and just make sure you are on the right spot and then you should get $5,000 and then a few seconds later it should just start giving you the $1,000 every 2 seconds. Now if you did not get that then that either means that your CEO vehicle or whatever vehicle you used from earlier to do the first part is not parked in the right spot or it means that your car that you're in right now is not parked in the right spot. So you have to make sure you are parking your vehicles in the correct spots to make this work. But if you did it correctly, you should be getting the $1,000 every two seconds. And you can actually get out of your car at this stage and put the rubber band on your analog sticks on your controller so that your character just keeps walking around in a circle and then you will not be kicked from this session or you can make sure you do the no kick glitch before you do this glitch and then of course you will not be kicked from the session. As always make sure your controller is plugged in so that it doesn't run out. But anyway that is how you do this glitch, I really hope you could follow this video. This method is working right now and it is working after the patch so you don't need to go into public sessions or anything like that. But anyway that pretty much does it for this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please drop a like and subscribe.